Psych guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Traveling Time. And we are going to case number 7, and we are still in 1960s, and we are going to New York because we have to send... We have to send a message to TIME in a way that it's found, that it's found 50 years later. Gone in 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds instead of 60 seconds. Oh yeah, we also found out that somebody sabotaged our time machine so we don't go anywhere. So somebody is after us. An organization maybe. Katria, I can't believe someone sabotaged our time machine to strand us in 1960s. He tampered with our machine right before we left Egypt and followed us to make sure it had worked. He left nothing to chance. The video showed the sabotage reporting to someone, so someone hired him to do this. But who? We have a lot of questions and, for now, no answers. I'm working to figure out just what is wrong with the time machine. It seems that the sabotage wrecked the temporal navigational shaft, so we are marooned, my friends. A protocol in case of a time marooning is clear. Started thieves need to leave a message in the same place to be found by the TIME chief in the team's present. That's why we come to New York City. TIME's future headquarters will be here. I still don't know where in New York City we can leave a message and be sure Chief Scott will find it 60 years from now. There's a list of recommended drop sites. I need to find locations that exist both in the late 1960s and in 2029. As soon as I found the best place on the list, I'll tell you. Does that mean we have to stay cooped up in the time machine again? I want to stretch my legs. Fine, you can go out, but put on your police uniform and take Katarina with you. And please, stay discreet. Roger that. Later, in Manhattan. Oh, look at this place, Katrina. Grand Central Station, the heart of Manhattan. Classic buildings stay classy no matter the decade. Still, I hope TIME will rescue us soon and will... Officers, thank goodness you're here. Oh, who are you? A man just collapsed in front of my newsstand. Please, do something, quick. Oh, yeah, we'll head to the newsstand, newsstand. Because we are normal local police officers, we must do our duty. We are completely normal for them. Gone in 30 seconds. Alright, we'll see who collapsed. Let's go without it. Yeah, there he is. I don't want to click on it. Okay, I can't pick pick him up just yet. Damn it. But this is what I hate. I can't pick up somebody immediately. And with this body always comes first on the list. just collapsed. He was murdered. It looks like he was stabbed in the hip and bled out. What should we do, Katarina? We gotta take him to our... to our machine. Well, to our ship. Okay. You're right, we are dressed as cops on a murder scene. We must investigate. Well, we are cops, so... This one was close to the victim's body. It must be his. Let's look through the wall for some identification. Yeah, those bloody glows must have been the killers. Let's get a sample of the brown bits on them. Alright. Katria, I sure will be rescued by T.I. Time soon. But for now, we have a job to do. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to just say it as Time, but I keep I keep going into the spelling. T-I-M-E. Time. Time. I keep pronouncing Time. Time. Let's... Let's first check out 
How did this guy die? And who is he? Katria, Woodstock was fun, but I have to say I hope we'll be back home by now. Me too, Chalice, but I'm sure Amy can find the best way to reach time soon. For now, Wakio tells about our victim. I said time, yes! His ephemeral artery was stabbed with a small sharp object. Once it was removed, the victim bled out in about 30 seconds. Got it, 30 seconds, yeah. So he never had a chance. Did you find anything else on the body? The kill had the victim's left shoulder as they punctured his leg. As a result, the kill transferred traces of canned tomato soup to the victim's clothing. So curious tomato soup. Comfort food won't be a comfort to them for long. Oh. Red soup. All right, let's let's go check out the vault. Let's see who was he. Is it somebody famous who is going to affect something in history, or is it just somebody somebody random? Billy snapshot. The driver's license in the voice says the victim's name was Billy Snapshot. Good point, Katria. Maybe Billy Snapshot was a client of that newsstand guy. We need to get a statement from him. Oh, yeah. He's the one who led us to a body. He's a witness. Okay, now let's collect something from the gloves. Got a sample of the brown bits of the curious glows, Katria. Theo should have a look at those. Okay, those are some gentleman glows. But it first looked like they were some goner glows. Alright, it's gonna take three hours to analyze this. And now let's let's talk to this guy. Excuse us, sir. Cop Katria and I want to ask you a few questions about the man who collapsed. Whatever I can do to help officers. I guess the guy is dead. Huh? Uh, yes. You must see a lot of people from your newsstand. Ever seen the victim before? Well, he came by here every morning to get a newspaper. He was always talking about that workshop place. Said he was an artist. The workshop? At artsy types? That sort of rings a bell. It should. They are kind of a hip thing these days in New York. The whole gang of them are led by that famous artist guy, Sandy Lebko. Art's not my thing though. I am what those kids call square. Thanks for your time, Mr. Johnson. Stay nearby. We may have further questions. Since the waiting spent time there, it looks like we need to go check out this famous workshop, Katrina. Alright. Art studio. What kind of art was it back then? I don't know what to say about this studio. I thought first it was uh, some film studio, then I see the easels. And it's a... Uh, it's a painter studio. Yeah, I'm probably wasting my time here. God damn it. Oh, I should have looked around. Oh, 
Oh, that. I thought that was a... Uh, I thought that was a... And it is a bag. Of some sort. I mean, a bag you put a body in when he gets murdered. That sort of thing. So, Katarina, this is the famous workshop, huh? Sure is, artsy. And speaking of art, it looks like you found a canvas. I can't see what's painted, but there's a note. For Billy. With love. The victim was an artist named Billy. This canvas must have been some kind of present for him. I got me the kit so we can see more. And this giant sir banana must be art as well. But why would it be locked? Oh, there's somebody in there. Oh no, Katria, there's someone in this banana. We have to get this thing unlocked. Alright, hang on, buddy. Or whoever you are. We're gonna get you out. Uh, let's... Let's first uh, get get this guy out of the bag. Man, what are you doing in the bag in the first place? Okay, we unlocked it. You managed to unlock this silver banana thing. Let's open it, Katrina. Hello. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to die there. Wow. Aren't you the famous artist Sandy Lamco? I am. And right now, I need to find the mega star who locked that zipper. This was supposed to be an art installation, not a prank. Well, before you do that, Mr. Lemko, we need to ask you a few questions about one of the workshop artists. <laughs> so what, you were supposed to be a giant banana and they were supposed to paint you. But, somebody left you here. <laughs> okay. She? Who is the woman that picked up this canvas? Could she be the person who gave it to the victim with love? Good call, I You better compare this painting to images of all the workshop artists. Okay. Alright. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to analyze the painting first. But alright, we're gonna have a chat with this guy. Mr. Lemko, what can you tell us about Billy Snapshot? Billy Snapshot? He's one of the future megastars I'm mentoring. I even gave you that new last name. I mean, like, what's a real name anyway? Everything is fake. Fake is good. I like fake. Well, it seems as how I don't like Billy. He was murdered earlier today. Billy's dead? But he had such potential. He could have been as famous as me one day. At least for a quarter hour. I understand this must come as a bit of a shock. But... This might seem cause, but... Can I come to the morgue and fill him? No! You can't do that. Without him, my film rubbish just won't be the same. Maybe his body could still be in it. No. Fill my dead body? No! Of course that isn't possible. Stick around the workshop. I have a feeling we'll be speaking with you again. Yeah, and you don't wanna go where we keep bodies. <laughs> Alright, now let's identify this woman. Identified Ellie Argent. And she is. According to the list of workshop records, the woman in that painting is an aspiring artist named Ellie Argent. 
Since Betty was a present for her to the victim, we better go ask Miss Argent some questions about Billy's snapshot. Alright, let's go have a chat with her. I just wanted to say something about Billy's last name, Snapshot. Snapshot as in... A good name for somebody who wants to be a painter. Okay. Massage it. We need to ask you a few questions. Ask away, I can tell you anything. Just a fact, ma'am. What can you tell us about Billy's snapshot? Billy? He's just the sweetest guy. We're gonna be mega stars together in Sandy Lemko's new film, Rubbish. Mega stars? In an art film? Oh, you big silly. Mega stars are what Sandy calls his stable of artists. I'm afraid you won't be a mega star with Billy Bizarchet. Someone murdered him today at Grand Central Station. Billy was murdered? That's awful. He did. Please stay close to the workshop, Miss Archet. We may have more questions. Okay, so they were filming a movie. Let's check out these brown bits. What are they? Katrina, it feels good to be back in New York. I mean, we are stuck in 60s, but at least I could get a decent bagel. Dio, bagels are gluten bombs. Your body ages more quickly the more gluten it has to process. Jack, you could do it with a little bag of treatment yourself. Maybe an egg wash mask to tighten your pores. Oh no, I think I'm nervous again. But I tried a poor treatment just the other day. <laughs> Settle down, Jack. I'm just teasing. I know, Katrina, enough about my pores. So what about that sample from the clothes? Sapla appears to be loose the back of her hand rolled cigarettes. The killer must have rolled up quite a few cigarettes before stabbing the victim. So the killer rolls their own cigarettes. As a handy skill to have where they'll belong. They'll, where they'll be going. Huh, <laughs> wow. We could have just written that killer smokes as well. Jack, what's this I hear about the murder investigation? Amy, I swear I only wanted to stretch my legs. But Katrina and I found a dead body and we were dressed like cops. We were stuck. Well, what's done is done. But try to finish this investigation quickly. We came here to leave a message for Chief Scott, after all. We already made headway. The victim was really staff shot. An aspiring artist is Sandy Levko's famous workshop. Staff shot was stabbed by someone in Grand Central Station and bled out in 30 seconds. Ellie Argent, another aspiring workshop artist, said that she and Billy were going to be in a movie by Sandy Lemko. While well, Lemko himself wanted to film Snapshot's dead body, which is creepy. Speaking of the victim's body, I was going through the victim's clothes again before bagging them. And I found proof that Billy Stasha had a safe deposit box at Grand Manhattan Bank. Oh, but that explains the vault crime scene. I played it. There, I thought somebody was going to rob a bank. Alright. We'll see what's going to happen. We're gonna start here, we're gonna continue playing in chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!